Okay. Well, my name is Ferry, and then I was working for the marginalized community, especially tech worker, LGBT, which consists of uh, transgender and gay communities in Jakarta. And then I also working with the street children because they are all marginalized and that uh, that's the reason why we're working with them. Very not easy because it's a political years where there are a lot of uh what like we are going to like to have to hold uh an elections so that it's going to be uh very not easy for some of the sensitive issue because they're going to use uh the politicals going to use their sensitive issue uh to get the empathy and also to have more forge. So yeah, it's very sad that the minority are getting more, more and more. Like there are many sex workers where I work with, uh, mostly working on the street. And then only some of them are exactly working on the brothel. And what was like most of them working because of the polit uh, because of the economical situation and really not support them. Most of them are less educated and then most of them are poor and then even some of them are still illiterate and they will be paid very low even i do believe that sex worker is work and that it should be the right of their of them to have this kind of job but somehow I still feel that they are also um, like the victim of the system. So this is a problem because there are many people are exactly jobless and you know they have children, they have family and they have to earn some of the money, some of the money not for themselves but for the family. That's also a, a serious problem that they have to face and even one of them said to me that for me, it's uh, the same whether I will die today because I don't have anything to eat or I will die tomorrow because HIV. This is the fact that I have to face. One of them said like that to me. Like, because we we have like a very varied uh, regulations about condom use. Uh, people of like, people are still things that when we spread condom, we teach someone to use condom uh, correctly. Uh, it, uh, it seems like we are supporting their premarital sex, which is uh, not a law in most of the religion. So this is going to be a problem because most of the people try to get rid of that. So condom is very taboo in Indonesia. So in our new uh criminal courts uh it will be like criminalized to have condom before married or spreading condom will be considered criminal so it's going to be more difficult uh, the finding of the hiv in indonesia is the highest one among the uh, southeast asia countries a lot of people i now realize that hiv are well Danger, dangerous in some ways, but also it's not, it couldn't be tamed in the other way. So I am happier that there are many more people are well educated about HIV, and then there are many more people that want to be tested. They want to test themselves voluntary. And I would like to say thanks to some of the HIV activists who work very hard on it suffering for the trauma and then I also have to what uh, because I'm suffering for so many attacks I mean like physical attack so I have to fight for that trauma and then also my family because uh, as an Indonesian like there are there are not many there are not many family are happy when their children working for the NGO or 
uh, very sensitive issue like that, especially when I work for the sex worker issue, then it's going to be like very difficult for my mom because my mom still considers that sex worker are exactly those who are stealing somebody's wife, somebody's wife, somebody's husband. Sorry. So this is a very critical moment when I have to discuss that with my mom. But my mom is not exactly saying that he is supporting the LGBT uh, movement, but my mom said that, well, we cannot discriminate LGBT because they would never choose to be one. But being a sex worker is a part of the choice that very clear. So why you want to be that or this? And then this is very <laughs> difficult. The best moment that I get is that when my sex worker friend I uh, exactly realized what is their right and they said that oh well I deserve this right and I have to fight for this and but if I have to be honest and to be more realistic to this situation I have to say that I am quite pessimistic about this because I feel like you know the revisions of the criminal codes that now are still running uh, it's going to be so difficult for many of the group and also the sensitive issues like LGBT and also the sex worker stuff like sex worker will be like more suffering and also LGBT will be like very easy to be criminalized and sent to jail. So they're also going to criminalize the LGBT activists in Indonesia. So, well, it's make me feel like Oh, very pessimistic. There are a lot of things that is actually against the human right and then also harmful for some of the groups, especially the minority group and the marginalized group in Indonesia. I love Indonesia and I think like the best way of showing love is like uh, accepting all the negative things and willing to be a part of the changes and I want to be a part of it. I have to keep going with it. This is what my heart calls, so that's why I just do it. And then I am happy doing that with the community and be a part of them. Just do something, like realize that this is happening in Indonesia and please tell our government if we if we already speak for us to speak of this and then the government still not the reason then Please, guys, please, you guys, speak about us, like, speak for us. We need you, your voice.